241 LS heads, number two. In process, I wanted to try to touch base on the uh, little boss that's in inside the intake runner on these LS heads. <clears throat> Basically, what normally would be a stud is an intake rocker bolt hole where that threads into the cylinder head casting puts a big bump down inside the port. And if you'll look inside this left port here, there's a huge bump on the bottom left. I'm going to keep in mind this head's upside down. But you'll see a big bump. If you look down that wall, boom, right there at the bottom, there's a huge bump that's basically a reinforcement for that intake rocker arm bolt. Well, you can look in these ports where I'm in process of removing that. Now, a lot of people just cut full force down into that thing and just poke a hole clean through on purpose. But if you use line of sight, like if you look at that port, I'm looking at second port from the right, and then I come around, you don't gain hardly anything on cross-sectional area by doing that. Now, I will poke through to that bolt hole. I don't know if you can see the one over here on the end is good. But you can see where I've been working that bump out. Now, of course, you can see up in there, not on that one because it's overexposing, but you can see that swirl ramp is completely removed and blended into the back wall of the bowl. The short side is widened. The entire guide boss has been narrowed. Now keep in mind this is still in the rough, rough to medium cut stage, so don't worry. It'll look pretty when I get done. But if you'll look at the difference that makes, removing that stupid rocker stud, rocker bolt bump, <clears throat> really opens that left side of that port up tremendously. Sorry, tremendously. And this is the second head I'm working on. The other one's already done. You know, I might work that just a hair more. But, I just hate the fact that it, poke, it opens that hole. But that's just the nature of the beast working on these LS heads. And trying to improve the flow. Because clearly... That huge bump on the bottom left, or which would be by upper right hand if it was sitting upright. But that huge rocker bolt boss takes up a big part of your cross-sectional area. What most people don't understand is air is line of sight. Air doesn't like to turn corners at all. So if you start digging and pulling back, to a 90 degree, you know, like, I don't want to say 90 degrees, because that's a really absurd amount, but if you start porting a cylinder head, and you start pulling back, creating a corner, anywhere in the air's path, anywhere from point A to point B, that that air travels through your head, if you create a cubby, or a uh, place where the air needs to turn to follow the wall, the air is not going to turn to follow the wall. So when you do streamlining of a port, you have to keep in mind that air is going to go straight. It ain't going to turn jack. So don't waste time working in areas that the air is not going to go. You know, now if you're under pressure, like under a boosted application, you could, if you have any back pressure or, or uh, impedance of flow where right? that boosted air fills that port you may be able to have some uh, successful flow gains associated with just volume like if you wanted to uh, build a port that has a larger cc volume you know that's somewhere where you could just you know okay let's make it bigger but air doesn't turn corners it doesn't like to turn corners it doesn't do it so when you port these cylinder heads, keep that in mind. Like if you look at this back, this far left port, 
look at how cruddy and dirty that is. Of course, the swirl ramp's removed, and I've done some work on that guide. But you look at how crappy that line of sight is when you got that huge bump in there, and then you know, coming into your short term, climbing your back wall, whatever. You just got to use line of sight understanding that hey this is air it wants to come into this head and get to where it's going without a bunch of turning or bouncing or skipping or jumping just keep in mind when you're working these cylinder heads air moves in a straight line try not to waste time digging and pulling and trying you know working in areas that the air is not going to touch because in your normal application say for a street car even street or strip your your goal should always be get the most airflow you can with the smallest runner and the reason that is is the smaller your runner the higher the velocity the air uh, the air traveling through there is going to have a higher velocity so a perfect street head is going to have a small port high velocity with good max flow numbers at the lift of cam that you want to run or you're hoping to run or whatever that's why you always want to try to take into consideration the camshaft you select with the engine size expected rpm and the, of course the flow of the head because if the head's not flowing at the max lift of the cam you've kind of got a mix match you know setup and it's not going to be optimal but anyway, I wanted to do a quick video because I am, you know, trying to do better at posting process videos. Uh, these heads will be done this week for sure. I've had a lot of uh, setbacks with family stuff and Christmas and all that going on. But uh, I finally got my new Cornwell burrs delivered. Apparently, the huge uh, storm that hit out in Utah delayed it was either UPS or FedEx <clears throat> from being able to pick up at their terminals in Utah yeah that was a huge headache for me had to reorder my burr set from Cornwell and that alone set me back a long time because my only six inch burrs were had got you know they were used up they couldn't cut anymore and I didn't have any way to sharpen them so I had to order a new six inch set to be able to work these stupid bosses in these intake ports and it was just a huge headache so anyway got my new burrs in go cornwell they make really good sharp burrs that cut for a long time reasonably priced if you get in good with your tool man um, again everybody i hope everybody had a great christmas uh, it's almost new year so everybody try to be careful out there uh, if you live in the Kansas City area, you know it's snowed and everything's covered with ice and it's going to probably be some crappy spots out there on New Year's Eve. So everybody be careful. Again, these are the uh, LS241 heads. Just wanted to show some of the process, show the, oh, it's the swirl ramp removed from the other end of the ports. You can see what that looks like and uh, removing that bump for the stupid rocker arm. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll keep porting and show you some more videos.